I was warned about this game. Sup morons, my name's Windette, and welcome to Vampire Survivors. This game looks like crap. It's so simple a toddler could understand it, and yet it's the most addictive game I've ever got my hands on. Just what kind of creepy gambling infested creature made this? Apparently some dude named Luca Gallant, also known as Ponkel. Whatever, none of that matters. I'm here to tell you why it's cool. For starters, the entire experience from beginning to end is nothing less than a dopamine factory designed to make your brain melt from all the pretty sounds and colors. This game uses casino gambling tricks to keep you invested, and I'm sad to say that it fucking works! The bar for entry is at the fucking floor. As soon as you press play, you're dropped into the world with no explanation whatsoever, and you immediately learn that the only thing you have to control is movement. Like I said, Floor level. As soon as you've landed, the whip starts attacking of its own accord, and within a few seconds you've already accidentally hit one of these pixelated bats and... Oh yeah. Now it all makes sense. You've got to do that again. Within 10 fucking seconds, this game has dropped you in, surrounded you with shit to kill, and now you're mindlessly slaughtering everything in sight just to collect more shiny gems. And it's only once you've collected enough of them that suddenly... Oh yeah. We've got progression. Now, you might be dumb as shit, but thankfully this game only needs to introduce you to the yes button, and you've already picked one of the three options without knowing how any of this shit works. And you don't need to! Because as soon as you pick something, you're already right back to mindless slaughter and gem collection like it's all you've ever known! Do you see why this game is addictive? We're only 30 seconds in! And how can we forget about the music? <sighs> As soon as you press play, this shit slaps you in the face right from the word go, and it never fails to be a fucking bomb! As soon as you regain sentience, however, special enemies start appearing with some serious chunk. After beating merry hell out of them for what feels like an eternity, you're suddenly met with... a chest? Cool, free shit! I'll take your entire stock! Oh, and by the way, if you ever get sick of the chest opening animation, not that I think anybody would, it literally feels like winning the lottery, just press B to skip it. You're welcome. Your first run will likely be nothing to write home about. You've got some items, killed some shit, lasted about 10 minutes, and then passed out from blood loss. Not that any of that matters, though, because you've already pressed start again to collect more serotonin. We'll ignore him for now while he mindlessly commits genocide and talk about what else this game has to offer. <clears throat> <gasps> We've got new characters, a map system, arcana, new unlocks, weapon combinations, a dog, calming fields of relaxation, calming fields of mindless destruction, a bunch of new stages, a power-up system, and Jesus, sort of. To be honest, most of these speak for themselves, so how about I cover the two that don't? Arcana's are pretty self-explanatory. Once you've progressed far enough through the game, you'll stumble across a purple chest. Inside it is a deck of magic cards, and you get one. This is an arcana, and it gives you a buff. That's it. The cards are random, so I can't tell you exactly what you'll get. Just know that they're strong, and the game lets you pick which one you want to start with at the start of each run. Okay, moving on! Weapon combinations, also known as evos, happen when you take one weapon and one power-up and combine them into something fucking broken! But there's a catch. What a surprise! Each weapon only has one evo. You can't just pick up any two old things and smash them together to make something overpowered. You've got to learn each one. Take the whip for example. First, pick up the hollowed heart, and then upgrade your whip all the way to level 8. See these boxes? That's the level. Once you've upgraded it all the way, just find a chest, open it, and BAM! Super whip! Now you heal literally every time you attack. I told you it was busted. Each evo gets added to the grimoire one at a time as you discover them, so fuck around and find out, I guess. What? You don't know what a grimoire is? Then get your ass over to the library and go pick it up! It's literally just lying on the floor! Now what else am I missing? Coins are meant for power-ups and unlocks. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Power-ups can be found in the start menu. I mean, I suppose. Yeah, it's just a giant fucking green button. Oh, right! You can check this box here to see items scattered around the map at all times, and killing all the enemies around one of these boxes will unlock a new character. Now, because you guys are fucking stupid and need all the help you can get, I'll run you through the basics of what your first run is gonna look like. Here's Gamer Wimdy doing his first playthrough. I was warned about this game! Vampire Survivors, they say that it is the most addictive roguelike to come out ever. Once you start playing, you just can't stop, and I'll be the judge of that. I can quit any time I want. I can, I can quit any time I want. Just one more run, just one more run! Alright, we've got a start menu here with Antonio. I can't unlock anybody else. What the fuck is this?! Once a thriving haven, now a dumping ground for evil. A vampire is said to be the root of this evil. But we can find only mayhem and roast 
roast chicken. <laughs> roast chicken? All right, we're in. Oh God, uh, wait, what? You don't attack manually. What? It just attacks automatically. How am I supposed to live through this? Uh, uh, okay. Oh, wait, what? Oh my God. Oh, I see the... <laughs> Hi. Hi. Guys, I think I can spot the gambling aspects of this game. Level up! A king's Bible orbits around the character. Santa water generates damaging zones, or the whip level 2 fires one more projectile. I am struggling to attack behind me, so... Give me the whip. Does it? Oh my god, yeah, it does work. I have a god. I want more levels. Excuse me, coming through. Fucking bats. Ow, ow. Oh my god, wait, what the fuck? Why am I being hurt? Who are you people? Ah, you will all perish at my hand. Wait, no, I need more damage. Ah! <laughs> Fuck. High damage, high area scaling generates damaging zones. Base damage goes up by five. This definitely feels like I can quit any time I want. So I, I just yeet an axe vertically and it just falls down the screen indefinitely. Where is this axe going? I need all the gems. I want gems. Ooh, roast chicken. Wait, what is this? Treasure? <laughs> I'm in an arcade. Let's go. Another axe. What does this do? Fires one more projectile. Nice! Oh, shit. Okay, fuck. Uh, everything is gambling, I see. I, Jesus Christ, stop leveling me up. Fuck. Magic wand? Uh, a knife? Magic wand. <gasps> what the fuck? Why are there so many bats? Ah! Go away. Oh, wait. Oh, man. This is satisfying. Oh, God. Look at the amount of damage. The power of Christ compels you. Fires one more projectile? Hell yeah. I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. Oh, my God. Whoa, what the fuck? Now I've got three. This doesn't matter. Everything's dying. Fuck you guys. Get out of my way. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. I can only win. Everything is a victory. Casinos love winners. Oh, God. No. <laughs> oh, God. There's so many sounds and things. I'm in heaven. This is incredible. It fires one more projectile. Yes. Who needs extra damage when I can just have more things? Ow. Oh, God. Why are they skeletons everywhere? Why are they pirates? <laughs> Yar, har, fiddle dee derp. I'm going to stab you with my fucking spear. Yeah. Fires one more projectile, raises inflicted damage by 10%. This game is so pixely. What's down? Excuse me, I'm just gonna go to the bottom of the map. I don't know what's down here, so I am curious. Excuse me, coming through. A crossroads. I wonder if this world is tileable or not. I'm just gonna keep heading south. Lord knows this video is just going south. Here we go. Oh god, wait, what? Why does this bat have so much health? <gasps> it had a chest in it. Wow! I'm a gambler! Oh my word, I'm so rich. There's so much money. Damn! <laughs> uh, oh wait, are these plants the problem? This is the reason why I can't go down forever? Why are they praying mantises? Oh god, what do I do? The plants, they're coming for me. No, finally, the plants are dead. Let's go. We did it. I don't know how we did it. I don't know what happened. Oh, who are these people? Why are you green? Yeah, oh, chest. Give me that. Yes! I'm rich! <laughs> What's the money in the top right actually for? What do you mean that this is a game that I've got to interact with? I can't even attack on purpose. This game is nice. I, I like this. This is a visual in order to help, help, help. They're everywhere. Ah! What the fuck? No, why are there so many swarms? If I keep moving, you can't hit me. Ah! If I just keep picking up gems, then I'll win. We're nearly there, yeah! Hell yeah. I just want to keep increasing numbers. Numbers go up and I win. Ah, eh, no, what the fuck? Ah, how do I? Ah, I have to squeeze through there. Chicken! Yes! Oh boy, oh look at all those crystals. Oh boy, oh look at this chest. Nice! Yeah. Excuse me, coming through. Thank you. Ah! It come out of nowhere. It's gonna come again, I know it is. Ah! Go away! I have no idea if like going up or down is like a good mood. Is it, do I just like traverse this endless land? What is my purpose here? What am I doing? Am I here to take out the vampire? I don't understand the premise of this game. Who am I? Well, I know my character's name. I've actually, no, I, I don't know my character's name. I've already forgotten my character's name, but why do gems give me upgrades? We don't fucking know. Yeah, oh god, no, here come the plants again. Please just all stack up in a neat and orderly fashion. Okay, I'm leaving the plant circle. Why are they praying mantises the size of a building? Who are you? Okay, okay, oh god, no, Jesus Christ, what the fuck? Why are there so many of these pirate Yarhar Fiddly Dirt Spearmen? I've been alive for 11 minutes and 38 seconds. I was born today. I was today years old when I survived the skeleton pirate apocalypse. Ah! Okay, I noticed a slight downside with my methodology of travel is that I can't pick up any of the gems. Oh no, Mantis, 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 Lord have mercy. Holy fuck. My brain is constantly looking for a route back on myself. But like, as soon as I do, then this fucking endless swamp, I'm dead. No! I can, I can quit anytime I want. Just one more run, just one more run.